Right, what is up everyone? I'm going to start off with saying <clears throat> this is going to be a spoiler free um, reaction and review of the season 2 Mandalorian episode 1 um, mainly because it's only started today and I know a lot of you probably won't be able to see them on the days that they come out so, <clears throat> so it's going to be a spoiler free, I'm going to do an overall review at the end of the whole season with spoilers in it so I will give you a warning but just warning you now once every episode's done I'll be doing a spoiler <coughs> included um, reaction to the whole of season 2 but we have got season 2 of The Mandalorian episode 1 it starts off um, basically launching the um, like what season two is going to be about it said basically um, on the trailer anyway that Mando is trying to get we're just going to say it because I don't know what to call it baby Yoda <clears throat> um, to his people back to where he came from does that mean we're going to be seeing more of Yoda's species don't know are we going to see his home world? Don't know. But it starts off setting up the entire season with that being the end goal. Starts off in a bar, trying to find information on <clears throat> how he's going to be... <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> ah, right. I think that's better now. Yes, right. Starts off, good. not a bar, a like a wrestling ring kind of thing. Um, trying to find out... We're trying to find someone to help him try to find where Baby Yoda <clears throat> is meant to be going. Because he's not 100% sure and pretty much through the whole of season 1 no one else really knows either. Because nobody's ever seen his kind, I'm not sure how. But yeah, it starts off with that. Then it goes into a full on western traveller along a path of... Adventure, we'll call it. Um, goes to a familiar planet, Tatooine, where he meets up with the... What's it called? Um, like the port <coughs> owner with the robots <coughs> who was in season one. The woman with the curly hair, that one. I'm not sure what her name is. Um, lands there, and then they have a bit of a chat. Um, then he goes off on a speeder with his, with the little, um, like, cowboy western travelling montage, stopping off with campfires, getting information from the locals kind of thing, which is just, I mean, I like a good western, and this is like a futuristic western, so, <clears throat> it's, it's very good. And then he goes to a... A town that's for some reason not on the maps. Not too sure why. Um, obviously he does find out. <clears throat> and then he meets up with someone else. Trying to find this uh, this per well this yeah, this person um, who is supposed to know where his people are to try and get help to get baby Yoda back to his kind. <clears throat> obviously who this person is, I will not say. Um, and his kind of, his gear, I will not mention either, but it is interesting, and it is a reference to the original 4, 5, and 6 episode Star Wars. Um, this is kind of more, no, I can't really say that, because I'll give it away, probably. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> anyway, so they go off, they have a bit of a chat, and everything then they go off to try and find this kind of like worm thing but it's later named as a dragon <clears throat> um, which is terrorizing the town for however long it was um, and obviously it's just it's terrorizing the town they want to kill it so they go off and try and find where it is because the guy that he that the guy that Mando has gone to look for knows where it sleeps so they go there and then they encounter some um, 
think Bathans, I think they're called, sand people, basically. Um, who they later find out who want to kill it as well because it's you know it's annoying them as well. So villagers, sand people, they team up to take this thing out. So this episode's not really involving much to do with the overall results, but it gets it going with characters and you know <clears throat> it, it gets it going. The interesting bit is, once it's finished, well not once it's finished, once it's gone to like the end scene, um, it shows Mando going back to get his ship, riding off into the sunset as they say. However, it then cuts to a man standing on a hill. This man does eventually turn around and we do get a decent look at his face. Now, I'm not going to say who he is, because honestly, I'm not sure. But I do know who I think it is, going by how he looks. But I'm not going to say anything, because you guys will want to see it, and if you are Star Wars fans, you will probably have the same idea that I do. But, overall review of this episode, I am very, very happy with it. <clears throat> I was happy with... To be honest, I wasn't too sure at the beginning of the whole Season 1, because um, I knew it was Star Wars, but I wasn't sure what I was getting into. But, I was happy at the end of it. This one, knowing Season 1, I'm happy from the beginning. So, it starts off pretty, you know, pretty badass. And ends with mystery of who this person is on the hilltop. But overall review, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, I'm, not, I'm very much looking forward to episode 2. I'm not sure if it's a weekly thing or a daily thing. If it's a daily thing, I will try and get these reviews done um, for you after watching them on the days that they come out. If it's weekly, it'll be easier being on a Friday, but we're just going to have to wait and see. So, hopefully, if you have seen Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 1, do leave a like on the video if you thought it was an amazing start to the season as well. Along with if you enjoyed the reaction, then obviously do leave a comment as well of what your favourite part of Episode 1 was. Trying not to give any spoilers away, because obviously this is a spoiler-free. There are not going to be any spoilers in it, so please try and keep your comments kind of very very minorly detailed just say if you liked it what your favorite bit was if your favorite bit is including the bit at the end with the hilltop don't say it just say yes i liked that bit with the hilltop or something don't mention anything about it but if you liked the whole standoff with the giant worm dragon thing then feel free to put that um but and also, if you do go ahead and continue to enjoy, then do not forget to click subscribe. I do do multiple reactions along with different various types of videos along with gameplays and stories. And obviously, do not forget to click the notification bell to be notified on any future updates or videos I unleash onto the channel. And I will see you all in the next one, maybe tomorrow or next week, depending on when episode 2 is. Whenever that may be, I will see you then.